Hello and welcome to today's Dwelling in the Word. Today we want to look at the opening section of chapter 2 of Ephesians. But before we read today's text, I want to ask you a question. Where are you right now? If you can, I'd like to ask you to find a seat. I'll give you a moment to sit down. So where are you now? Where are you seated? Don't don't tell me. <laughs> Hold that thought. Now I want to tell you. I want to tell you where you are seated. I want you to listen very carefully for what the Word of God declares that God has already done for us in the heavenly realms. Not what he's going to do way out someday in the future, but what God has already done for us. So prepare to have your minds blown. Hear the word of God in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them and at one time gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Right, now hear this, hear what the word of God says. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of of his grace expressed in his kindness to us. So where are you seated right now? If you belong to Christ Jesus, I can tell you with absolute certain with absolute certainty where you are right now. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. This is one of the more truly incredible and amazing statements about the gospel of Jesus Christ and all the scripture. God has already raised us up with Christ and seated us with Christ in the heavenly realms. In fact, this is how Paul begins his letter to the church in Ephesus. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Chapter 1 and verse 3. Again, this is not pointing to the distant future out there. This is talking about what God has already done for us in Christ. Now, this, this requires faith. We cannot see it. We cannot touch it. But we believe that this is truth. Even now, in this very moment, we are seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. We haven't even finished our race yet. There remains work for us to do with our hands good things for us to do, to make a difference in this world and to help people. And our God as it work within us and among us to change and transform us into the likeness of Christ. So 
there is more work for God to do, isn't there? And yet the word of God declares that God has already raised us up and seated us with Christ in the heavenly realms. This is why we call it amazing grace. God does not wait to see what we will do or how we will respond. Our God comes to save us and to bless us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus our Lord. And when we were dead and powerless, by his power, he made us alive. He lifted us out of the grave of sin and darkness and death and seated us with Christ in the heavenly realms. This is grace and mercy through and through. We had nothing to do with it. So hear this one more time. Let it sink in. Let it fill you with wonder and let it move you to realize just how great is our God and his love for us, his people, and for you, his precious child. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. We seek and serve an amazing God who blesses us again and again in ways we have not earned, in ways that we do not deserve, but in ways that he longs to bless us, his children.